Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and you're watching me record a vlog intro. Really, it's more like a channel intro, or at least something that I'm thinking about trying. I smell ham and eggs. I wonder if they're green, because then they could be green eggs and ham. You know what else is green? The sky. Well, in this painting. You know what else is green? Those chairs and the sofa. I tried to eat some of the gummies that Mommy refrigerated last night, but they weren't very chewable. Were those for me? No. But that's for me. Yes. This. Yes. Not this. You can chew on that. They're not edible. No, they're just for you to chew on. Mm. This is good, but it's gotta be the messiest burrito I've ever eaten. And that's how you know it's good. Like on a scale of like clean to messy, mm -hmm. the messier food is, the better it tastes. I agree. But the more it also annoys Chris, because you get sticky. Every time I hear the word fling, I think of poop. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and table the poop discussion until I'm <laughs> finished with the mess. That is a very tasty mess. <laughs> I wouldn't go as far as to say this is organized, but it looks hella better than it did before. There's really not much more I can do with the stuff behind my desk. I could probably move my desk back a bit now, because I don't have a computer back there anymore. I love you, Pixie, but I really wish you'd stop moving the Vader bed. <laughs> much better. Today our family's going to listen to Curious George Rides a Bike courtesy of audible.com slash locker gnome, which is where you can go to get one free audiobook download for yourself, either for a child or an adult or an adult who thinks he's a child. I think my favorite Curious George story is the one when he went to the hospital. He ate a puzzle piece? I remember that. And he got an x-ray. I remember that too. <laughs> it's kind of nice to trip down memory lane through audiobooks. Thanks, Audible. Did you have a favorite Curious George story? I thought there was just one. Yes, there's one Curious George. One story. What? We're going to start exploring the world of Curious George today, Jedi! I remember the Curious George story when he gave his dog all the food in the world. That was the best Curious George story ever. Let's read that one or listen to that one next. That wasn't a Curious George story. And if you're curious as to why these towels are sitting in front of Sasquatch, it's because they have to go downstairs for my parents, who are not quite here yet, but should be on their way soon. I'm going to call this my Star Wars station, which is adjacent to the production studio. Ready, aim, fire. Fire, good. Baby of the house had to take a bath because she got messy when mommy changed her diaper. <laughs> which is the Curious George story that you knew about? One where he was holding a balloon and like going in the circus. <gasps> oh yeah! <laughs> I remember that one too! You do? It just surprises me that that's the only one you thought ever existed. This is the one from Jansen and Sloth. Today's question comes in by way of HARG! Chris, have you ever tried comedic writing outside of your personal endeavors? You definitely have a knack for it. I could be a writer, I am a writer by trade, it's just that that's not a core part of my career at this point. But I tweet funny things all the time! Or at least, I think I tweet funny things all the time. I'm writing a wedding ceremony for someone, and that's rife with humor. But I'm not getting paid for the gig. It's a personal favor for a friend. I'd probably take the time to write more funny things if I knew that people were reading, but I don't think they are. I certainly don't write humorously for catharsis. Consequently, a lot of my creative juices flow into my video endeavors, live or edited. Have you ever reached into your pocket to grab something that you thought was there because you normally put that one thing there and it wasn't in your pocket and you have a slight heart attack until you realized you put it in another pocket? Yeah, that just happened. I hope you realize this is not a flattering pose for me. Why are you recording? Why does it sound like I'm so far away? Stop! I've always been a fan of words. I'll probably always be a fan of words. Now that is a hairball. <laughs> that is a lot of hair. Whose hair is it? It's mine. <gasps> I think. I hope. <laughs> I'm the one losing the hair because apparently it's very common to lose a lot of hair after pregnancy. 
up to a year after pregnancy, like a lot. This is a lot. And I've been noticing it's everywhere and I'm like, You don't have much hair to lose yet. Maybe one day. Now, Pixie, you sit still. You've got to be vacuumed. Wait. Good girl. You're next, buddy. Here it comes. Looks like you got a gift from Kimberly Johns and her family. Mini Grandpa's peanut butter flavored dog cookies. Well, they're not for us, they're for the dogs. I'll try one. Not for human consumption. They prefer they're for people like me. Okay, Pixie, there you go. Oh. <laughs> At least it went into her cone. It's like they gave me play. Remember that little bowling game? Okay, Wicket, here's yours. Good boy. What the hell is the vacuum chewing on now? Oh, I forgot. I left my hair dryer in the in the bathroom cupboard downstairs. <laughs> it's like it's like a hundred and fifty dollar hair dryer, but you don't have to send it to me. I'll figure something out. Hun, I got you a fancy hair dryer. <laughs> Super mom just brought me more carrots and more celery. Three things and two hands. Oh man, I have a good hair dryer too. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's called a towel. Mm -hmm. Naps can take it out of you, huh? I know. It's ironic. That's a fun word. You he helped her get dressed this morning. Yeah, I did. Mommy picked out that skirt, though. Mm -hmm. We're going to slide 2014 Series 2 Garbage Pail Kids into their sheets tonight. This is fun for Daddy. You want to see my other non-sports cards? That's what they're called. Non-sports cards. Those are some scary cereals. Loco Puffs, Chucky Charms, Children of the Corn Flakes. What about some unique smileys? Like these. Honey? Her bow just fell off. Disgustorama. Maybe when you're older, you can go to Grossville High. These are cards with cars on them. The only cars I've really ever collected. The Unamazing Spider-Man? Yep, that's a parody comic book cover. When Daddy was younger, he used to get his music on CDs. Although I never really got into collecting wacky packages. It's not too late to start a collection. I have this series, whatever this series is. This is called Teamwork. You wash the underwear, I put it away. <laughs> I remember when I had time to fold it neatly. Do you remember that? Barely. <laughs> I'm not done grossing our daughter out. Oh, great. Did you ever collect those troll dolls? Oh, treasure trolls? Whatever they were called. Cute. Yeah, they were. Oh, that's not a cute troll. Yeah, it is. It's adorable. Do you remember Meanie Babies? I remember Beanie Babies. No. Meanie Babies. No. Yes. No. Yes. Aside from Garbage Pail Kids, these were some of the first non-sports cards or stickers that I ever collected. But I think they only made one series of these. <gasps> Nerd Crossing? Oh yeah, my weird ball cards! This is the second time I'm helping you get dressed today, Jedi! Oh. How did you know her feet were cold? I can feel them. Not now. You need some little socks like this. I have little socks like that. You do? Yeah, I just don't wear them. Ever. Oh, oh the hazards of being a Perillo. Now that's smooth! Since the vlog is like a daily documentary of sorts, and the camera that I hold in my hand is like an extension of myself, my spirit, I should probably say that minutes before going live today, I received an email with some news that was good news. Information that I never expected to hear. 
if I could tell you everything about my life, it would probably surprise you. But there are certain things that I just can't talk about. The information I've received today is about the best information I've seen in the longest time. Perhaps today, a chapter has been closed. And I'm happy about that. Is that the game you were thinking I was playing earlier? Yes. I've come to understand there's food somewhere here in this general vicinity. Oh, you got your bow back on your head. Yeah! You excited? Yeah, I don't even know what you made. Hold on. Hold on. Baby? Uh-huh. What did you make? Uh-oh. <laughs> did you talk faster? <laughs> That is the strangest tater tot casserole I've ever seen. <laughs> um, well, maybe we should taste it. I'll eat it. Okay. It looks incredible. It looks edible. It looks like dinner. Yeah? Mm-hmm. What's the worst thing that could possibly come from this? What? <laughs> it's all the ingredients mixed together. I oh, like y'all match. Y'all are both wearing blue. Rome wasn't built in a day. <laughs> Tastes like tater tot casserole. I think the older I get, the less cooking skills I have. You're not getting older. I just had a birthday. You're not getting older. But I am. I'm not walking into this one. <laughs> Okay, everybody, back to collecting. That's what the fox says. It's all fun and games until someone loses a block. Release the... I can't seem to find him. You collect me. Oh, no, you didn't. And there we have it. I'd say that it's the... Int and there we have it. I'd say that it's the entire series, but unfortunately, I did not get all of the bonus cards. They get kind of pricey. Anymore, they're making Garbage Pail Kids specifically for people like me, the collectors. I don't mind, it's just that <laughs> it could get very expensive, which is exactly what happens when you start a collection. In this series, they lampoon superheroes. Thanks again for taking the time right now to like and share our videos, for interacting with us every day, everywhere, and we'll see you tomorrow.